Okay, this is different. I'm driving my daughter's Jeep out to her land. I'll give you a little update on the mobile home situation. And it's kind of, oh, the door's just locked. Okay, we are back again. Renovations going on here. Sand for the septic field. I think I mentioned that before, but I don't remember. If you don't want to be in it, I'll cut you up. All right, look at that, the panels have changed. Let's go check out the work back here. What a difference carpeting makes, eh? <laughs> okay, I shouldn't distract you. You don't want to be making any mistakes. Oh, wow, such a difference flooring makes. Well, keep up the good work there. <laughs> so the question of the day is, where's the hot water heater? We looked all over inside the trailer. There had to have been one. Or the mobile home. There you go. Hopefully this thing is ancient. He pulls it open and the whole... Ho there, there it is. is. Look at that. Okay, remember how I was... Maybe you don't remember. Maybe I didn't show you. I was eating my lunch on the way out here. And I had a bottle of ice water. And I got here. I hadn't put the water in yet. And my daughter saw it and said, oh, let me have some of that ice. I'm like, yeah, help yourself. Then she said she's been working out here without water. And I'm like, well, help yourself. So she, she ended up drinking, uh, well, most of my water. So I'm really, really thirsty. But she needed it more than I did. Come on, Piper. Okay. It seems odd. It's early, yet I'm not gonna go for a run or anything like that I'm just out so since it's so early 6 30 I'm going to let the piece out I had Piper but she ditched me I guess <laughs> what a beautiful morning it's already 74 degrees and I can feel the humidity so it's gonna be a hot one hi guys Hi, did you come out? Yeah. Oh, you want me to pick you up and carry you? The geese are getting pretty close. All right, hold on. I got the dog. There are the geese right behind us. <laughs> it's going to be a great day, people. I'm just going to keep telling myself that. It's going to be a great day. Hey, look who's come to greet us. Yeah, hello, Angie. <laughs> Today I am being chauffeured around by Asa. She's back in town. She's like, I don't want to be in your video, Mom. It's nice to have her around. We are on the way to um, an appointment. Oh, you think they're collecting trash? Or they're northern students and they're going to... Um, or there's like something back here. The rock, the rocks here. I've seen uh, students here. Uh, they're like, um, oh, see right here, they're checking out the rock, some special kind of rock or something here. Yeah, yep, that's what it is. Uh, maybe they're in a summer class because it's July. What do you think? She doesn't know either. Anyway, I've seen them at that location before. <laughs> it's not making that noise now, it's going to try to record it. this noise. It's bright outside. Do I look tired? Wow. Got dark circles. I think I only got five hours of sleep last night. So I've been waiting in the car for 45 minutes. How long do appointments take? She asked me to come along. She said, I don't want to go by yourself. By herself. She said, I don't want to go by myself. I'm like, well, I'll come along. But you're an adult, I'll stay out in the car because I can just hang on my phone, you know, watch Instagram stories or Facebook or YouTube or something, and I can just be lazy. The problem with being lazy is that I get tired, and I'm like dozing off here going, oh, I can't fall asleep, and I'm hungry. Hmm. I did bring a snack, and I already ate it, and I'm still hungry. I didn't make breakfast. Huh. 
Uh, I'll tell you, dilemmas. <sighs> also, car started making a noise. A uh, message came up and said low on oil, but Elise said, check the oil. So we pulled over and we checked it again, and it was registering just fine on the dipstick. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I called, call, I phoned a friend. Yes, I did. Called Dutch, and he said, just ignore it. It's, it's always awkward when someone comes up and they can see what you're doing. See you talking to your camera or your phone or whatever you're using to record yourself. <sighs> okay, he's gone. Yeah. There's the noise. We are back home. Elise already went into the house. I'm just kind of hanging. I'm lazy. I'm so lazy, but I have to get in the house and I have to work. I let Elisa, this wasn't bad, I let her take my Pontiac down to the camp because she needs a vehicle and this dependable vehicle. <laughs> hopefully, because she's got to go back. Yeah, hopefully it's nothing. Because <laughs> she needs a safe ride back to the camp. And she needs a car there in case she needs to make a getaway. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to drive down there. <laughs> uh so it's a good thing Dutch's car is going a okay. Yep. So if I believed in luck, it'd be bad luck. I don't believe in luck. It's just, you know, things that happen when you drive an old vehicle. We try to keep them up and running and things, you know, you just need things just happen. Let's add another vehicle to the list. Elisa and Erica wanted to go shopping, and I was working, so they took the Swamp Monster, a.k.a. the plow truck, a.k.a. the Tahoe, to a thrift store. And they were almost there, and they could smell brakes. Hang on a second. They could smell brakes, and they were hoping it was the car that pulled out in front of them. And they got to the thrift store, and they parked, and there was smoke coming from the brakes. So now they're stuck there. I'm going to go ask my son to go pick them up. I think we'll leave the Tahoe there. Dutch will be home tonight. He'll check it on his way home. I will figure it out.